Children's Church. I'm so glad to have you here with me. And it's the last week of December, so we're still talking about good news of great joy. Today it's good news for Anna and Simeon. Now Anna and Simeon are two people in the temple who were there when Jesus was presented before God, who had been waiting for him for a long time. So I'm going to read you a story, and then I'm going to give you some context that isn't necessarily in the story. You ready? We're in Luke. We're still in chapter 2, verse 21. When the eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived. And when the days of their purification, according to the law of Moses, were finished, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male will be dedicated to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice, according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to Israel's consolation, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit he would not see death before he saw the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, he entered the temple complex. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him up in his arms, praised God, and said, Now, Master, you can dismiss your servant in peace as you promised, for my eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. His mother and father were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and told his mother Mary, Indeed, this child is destined to cause the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed and a sword will pierce your own soul, and that thoughts of many will be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, a daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher, she was well along in years, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and was a widow for 84 years. She did not leave the temple complex, serving God day and night with fasting and prayers. At that very moment, she came up and began to thank God and speak about him to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When everything had been completed, according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the boy grew up and became strong, filled with wisdom, and God's grace was on him. Jesus had been prophesied hundreds of years before he came. They knew a Savior was coming, and they were waiting for him. Now, Simeon, God promised him he wouldn't die before seeing this come true. So when he saw Jesus, he knew that was God's answer. He knew that he could go in peace, knowing that Jesus had come. And Anna was someone who sat in God's presence every day. She fasted and she prayed. She was ready and waiting. So when Jesus came, she recognized him. She didn't need to be told. She was so soaked in God's presence and his word that she knew who Jesus was immediately. And what good news is that for all of us? That when we know God, when we're in God's presence, we know when his hand is among us. We just know because we know God. Anna had that, Simeon had that, and we can have that. Have a wonderful week, have a wonderful new year, and I will see you back next week. If there's anything you'd like to learn about in the new year, please put it in the comments. I'd love to teach you things you want to know about. I will see you then. Have a wonderful week.